Hello everyone, this is Paula back to work on the Traveler's Notebook, um, which is part of the design team for Cheaply Chic. So, I'll link her Etsy and YouTube below. And her name is Lynette. If you haven't checked out her store or her videos, she does great on her videos. Super sweet lady. You'll have fun. So I just kind of put together some things that look color coordinated. And I stitched this bag because regular size bags don't fit in this. Or big, big ones. And I like to use some different ones. So I'm not sure if that's where this is going yet. I got to kind of look at, at some point, I know that... This is a tag that she stamped for the um, kit, and she stitched around it also. No, I stitched around it. <laughs> okay, and then this bag was part of the kit also. I'm trying to use as much as I can from the kit. These feathers are from the kit also. Uh, this is part of the, this bag, which I'm going to use... On one of the tags I can't remember which one I thought would be good maybe on this little black one yeah see that looks cute with that little um, zigzag across this was the bottom portion of that little tag so and we have these cute little birds that are silver and I thought I would make a pocket with that and use this silver in the tags to kind of bring the silver into the big picture. And I'm trying to remember what I was going to do with this card. I think it's just going to be in with the uh, design. So, because I don't remember everything, you know, I'm not, oh, I have too much to remember. So, I'm going to get started and um want to make sure i'm in the right spot i've rearranged my camera and um so i could quit bumping into things when i was doing my doing my my uh, videos i kept my my jacket kept grabbing onto things and uh knocking things over so i'm going to ink this as we go i'm not going to do a super dark ink but um, I'm learning as I go along doing these, the types of things I like to journal on. And, you know, I like to have like uh, tags and stuff like that to journal on because I sometimes don't have a lot to say. So how many of you that journal, um, how many of you that journal actually fill a whole page. How many of you that journal, um, cause I feel like sometimes when I have to fill the whole page or two pages or whatever I think is going to look right, I'm gonna give that a little bit of an ink rub down here. I just want it to be a little darker on the back since I didn't add paper. Okay, now I'm not gonna add the string yet. I'm gonna give a little bit of ink to this bag, mostly along the sides. It's not gonna be real noticeable because it's so dark. So how about you guys? Are you just having loads of fun at home during this whole virus thing? Um, this is kind of normal for me. I'm at home most of the time anyway. Usually I don't get out except on the weekends unless I'm going to Hobby Lobby or something like that. I do miss going to my Hobby Lobby. But I decided today Hobby Lobby is there <laughs> to order. I mean, we need to order from those places and help support them um, if there's something you need. Um, Walmart you can order from. Um, you can order from Michael's, uh, Amazon, of course, and if you think about it, there's not a lot of big businesses out there that you can't order from. You can order from Costco's and Sam's, you know, places that you come in contact with people. You just order, do your part to support 
those companies. Um, I, if there's ways that we could support the small businesses, yes, I would say do that as well. But honestly, um, you know, there's not a high demand for most of the small businesses whenever they're closing everything down. So, um, yeah. And let's just remember each other in our thoughts and prayers. Um, every day I have been praying for uh, my country, my friends, my, my family, and even you guys. <laughs> I want this to all come to an end. And I think if we don't close everything down, that's just my opinion. I know it's, it's not everybody's. I just say, if we could close everything down and get everyone to stay home except to go to the grocery store or, you know, something like that. We don't need to eat out. We don't need to go through drive throughs really. Um, I will, it, you know, we have a couple times, but I don't even want to send my husband out to do that. And, you know, I don't want my kids going out and taking the kid their kids out. I mean, going for a drive is one thing. I mean, I, I think everybody needs to get out and take a drive, at least by the weekend. And, uh, or just walk if you have a safe place to walk that nobody else is, is walking. I say that like I'm going to walk. <laughs> I wish I could. I'm afraid I'm going to have to cancel my surgery on April the 22nd. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk it. As bad as I hurt, you know, I probably, my surgeon will call me. They're, you know, they've canceled some things, I think. But, you know, it just, it's just a um, matter of time till they make everyone stay home. And until they do, we're really not going to see an end to this. And once they can get that vaccine down, that will make a difference. I have autoimmune problems, and so I am on the, one of the medications that they're talking about, the hypo or hydrocortisone or something like that. I can never pronounce it right, but I'm on that, and I feel kind of glad at this point that I am. My glue is in its position of being a brat, but I'm using every drop because you know, it's hard to get out and get it. And I'm just going to put some glue under this band um, in the front. Let that be drying. I've got it all straight. You'd be amazed how you can take scraps from your bag or from other things and add them to your projects. Because, you know... It looks good with this, you know. It looks like it's matchy-matchy. My glue keeps seeping down, so I'm going to lay this down. I haven't done the back yet. i got to do the back first, and then I can lay it down. I think I'm going to try going through the top this time instead of going through the bottom. Because it just wants to roll down. Just kind of, if I can just get it to hold a little bit. I'm going to clip it with some clips so that maybe it'll hold it down without any problem. And get my fingers to work. Of course, you can't uh, get it to lie down in the middle whenever you've got... And, of course, it's seeping. It still is seeping. I didn't put that much. I think it's because I put it on the bottom end. Note to self, don't do that again. Okay, so I'm going to kind of wipe that and try to lay it flat so we don't have to have that show up again. Okay, I'm going to lay that over there to dry the best we can. Now, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this bag down because I think I'm going to put it here. And, um, oh, I know where I was going to put that. Now I know where I was going to put the, um, come on. I was going to put the 
I didn't know where I was going to put the bird card. I love getting the cards, don't you? Listen, I love seeing all the different cards that are out there. I wish I could just, you know, buy every card that's available. Like I've bought some from, um, I bought some from um, Lynette that she's had in her shop. And that's uh, the one that makes these journals. And so I, you know, I enjoy that part of it. So, I think somebody just walked in on me, but they're gone. Okay, now, I am going to kind of push this up. Get this all glued down. I'm just going to clip the edges on the outside just for a second so we can get it to hold. And uh, on this corner, I just get tired of holding them, so I just decide to clip them. Whatever makes it go fast, right? I don't have my clips on my table, but I bought a new thing of clips that are made for this sort of thing. Only they're made for quilt making. You know, let's get honest. It's for quilt making. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and slide my card in here since this is going to have to have time to dry. Get it out of the way. Okay, now let's see. Got things falling out over here. I'm like, what is that? So this paper came with the kit. I'm trying to. Get my glue to cooperate a little bit. Oh, strings everywhere. And of course, you know, I got glue heavy on this side trying to get it to work right. But I'll just... Let's take some of it off and hope that that's for the best. Okay. So this is going to be a pocket, and I did zigzag across the top. And um, so that should work pretty good. this a little bit right here make sure it's sticking down and uh, I'm gonna clip it here on the corner while we work on other parts see this can be drying and I wish I could put one right there that new no. making sure that glue doesn't stay in the spine a little bit right there all right, now, there's a little bit right there. Even though I wiped a big gob of it, it still leaked a little bit. See, it's aggravating, isn't it? I gotta get it out of the spine. I love the way it, when you start rubbing on it, it decides to change into like boogers. Makes it lots easier to get off of here, you know, whenever it does that. You just have to rub it a little bit. The more you rub it, the more it rolls off into a little glue ball. Okay. Now, the next thing here is we're going to do, let me see what else we've got with this. I think this is where I decided to put this card, was right here. And I'm thinking I was going to put this bird in here somewhere, right in here. But I, you know, I don't remember on him as much. But I do remember that I did that with the playing card. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. 
Come on, come on. I love that when she sends the card, the playing cards, I love that, you know, you can put them in your journals and you can go back and look at them anytime you want. I ordered some, um, I don't even remember the name of the place off the hand. I have it written down, but um, it's a, a deck of vintage fairies. We'll see if they're really vintage <laughs> when I get them. Sometimes, you know, you can be told one thing and it can end up being another. So I'm going to put this card right here on the front of the bag because it's a big space. And I like the way it, that looks. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that this is where I had put the bird here on top. Just kind of tucked him under. But I'm going to wait till we're all done and decide what it needs. Okay, so over here, this is going to have this. Let's see if we can unhook this now. Probably so. Yeah. And we'll put a little bit of silver. Um, I probably will write around the edges on this too. And speaking of silver, you can use, you know, you use, you can use your white gel pen on um, these black uh, tags and so forth, but you can also use, and I'm going to find it and show you what I'm talking about. See, that's gold. Now, where's the silver one? There it is. You can also use silver. Now, this is a, a different brand. It's a Pentel Sunburst Metallic Medium, but it is also like a glue pen. So, instead of using um, white on here since we got this silver going on. Let's just try this. And I'm just going to do a straight line, a zig, kind of zaggy. This is how I do it when I want to go really fast. And if I have a lot of hand doodling to do, I do this because it's just lots faster. And I'll just keep doing it. It's kind of almost like, you know, kind of like a heart meter or heart um, monitor, you know, they'll have the up and down. That's kind of how I do this. But I don't lift my, I try not to lift my pen except on corners. Because you have a tendency to make a lot of lift kind of, uh, I taped that and I didn't mean to, but I did it without thinking. But I guess it's okay since it's mine. Okay, now, that's where the silver comes in on that part. And I used, if you can see here, I used like a silvery thread or gray. It might have been gray. I use all different colors depending on what I'm doing. And if I can get away with whatever's in the machine, I do that too. <laughs> now, see, that still looks white on that black tag, don't you think? Okay, so the next thing we need to do is come in here with some ties um, for these little tags. Now, I'm just putting this, no fibers with it this time. Whoopsie, because it's so shiny and bold. I don't, I don't think... Twice, you guys. Twice I dropped that. Okay, Paula. Settle down. Get hold of it. And I'm just going to tie a, a double knot like I usually do. You know how I am. I do it the easy way. The old-fashioned way. Depends on what I'm doing. I sometimes do the other one. But see, like this one... It's so it already holding on. You would real could really almost get away with one knot, but I don't like to have to deal with it later. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it off a little bit right there. Slide it in here. There we go. 
All right, so this side over here pretty much is done. So I'm taking those off. I'm gonna take these off the bag. Everything is attached nicely. Now, we could put the bird over up here somewhere, but then it doesn't have anything to hang on to. I didn't, I don't remember what I had planned for this little bird, but I think right here is perfect. So I'm gonna use a, a more cooperative glue. <laughs> I'm gonna do a more cooperative glue. I like to get the little edges down and that's why I like to use this glue with the tip. Glitter glue, as it, everybody knows it. I think there's not anybody not using the glitter glue nowadays. I know they use it, they have been using it in the scrapbook videos for years. Um, it's been a while since I've watched one. Ah, glue on my fingers. Now I'm gonna make his little branch come down to the top of this playing card so he looks like he's holding on to something. Cause he's really in a straight position. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Let me wipe, let me plug my glue back up real quick. So it doesn't dry on me. Okay, now we're going to um, clean up this glue on its little tail. You know, it's hard to get it. The one thing about glitter glue, I'm gonna give you a little hint. Blessed is best on thin lines because it is a runny glue and it's a water-based glue. So you're gonna get a little bit of wave with it. So I'm gonna go over here and add some of this trim. Come on, come on, straighten up. Come on, what's the deal? I just need a little bit, okay. So everything got inked, except the bird. I didn't ink him, I just realized it, but that's all right. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. So there we got our, our double knot. That doesn't even need to be. Uh, I, w I had this out, I guess I thought I would add some up here, but I think I'm gonna save that and, and add some wherever I might. Um, when I'm finished with everything on the journal, I can go back and add some of those feathers here and there throughout the book. So I'm gonna save that piece, I think. I'm gonna clean this off real quick because it is gunky. That way, the next time we use it, we don't have to worry about it being too gross. Okay, so now that page is done. hard for me to see in my, I moved my camera a little bit to the right, and so I'm trying to get placement down now. Okay, so this is done, and we're going to move over to, I have several things just kind of shoved in pages, and I can't remember. I think it's all to the right, but let me make sure. Otherwise, it could land somewhere. <laughs> it could land somewhere. Who knows where? Let's get past that one for now because I have some others. Let's just do this little simple one. I figure if we can get some of the simpler ones done. I just love these birds and I use them. I bought two packs of this paper that had these three little birds on it. I have fussy cut these little birds. They're in, in with all my other fussy cut. I just love these little birds. This was stationery that I got at Joann's on a clearance, and I got some cards, too. So this little guy is already inked, it looks like. I'm going to give him a little bit more. He just looks kind of sad. 
he might have to get outlined in something. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, this is supposed to go on the tag, I guess. We'll see. On the back for a journaling spot. That's what it is right there. It fits too perfect not to be for that. And then we have this little tag that has this blue that I've got from one of the previous kits. What I do is when my my I'm finished with one kit, I leave the things in there. And then when it's time for the new kit to come out, you know, once I see what the kit's going to be when she announces it, then I turn around and... Um, you know, pull out what I don't need and start adding things I think will work with it. That way I'm organized when I get started. This is going to glue over this Rolodex and make a pocket. So I'm not going to ink the back part. I forget exactly how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out here in a minute. Okay, this is another thing for the, the back of this other tag. I just won't stitch these on. So, wait a minute, that's the wrong side. No, it's not, it's the right side. Hello, Paula, and here is another Rolodex uh, cutout. So what I decided to do on this side is, um, or on the right, on the left side, is making them different. Like, one of them can go at one direction and the other one can go another direction. And make them just floppy, weird little pockets. That's kind of how I remember it. We'll see what happens. So, I'm just going to put the glue on the actual uh, Rolodex card so that I don't have any seeping out onto anything except what I might might overload. I'm trying to be really careful not to do that. But I want the edges down for sure. So now we'll take this little birdie and put him upright on the Rolodex. Now, you guys have no way of knowing that's a Rolodex. I'm not gonna cut it, but that came from the kit. Both of these Rolodex cards did, but see, it's not wet there now, which makes it easier. So there's one of them. We're gonna do the same thing with this Rolodex, which is not as heavy, so it's it can't be vintage if it's real lightweight. This one, the other one was. But this one's kind of, kind of like a sheet of paper. And that's okay, that's enough to support the, uh, the scrapbook paper I'm using. This this scrapbook paper I found looking for some other paper. <laughs> it was an accident. But I, I remember loving this paper, so I decided, since it's going to be my journal, to put it in my journal. Since we're talking birds, you know how when you have one single page left and, you know, and you've bought a kit, for instance, which is what I did, um, I bought a kit a long time ago, and this was one of the papers. Okay, come on, slide down. Oh, it made me pull you off of there. I'm going to have to. Usually, it will cooperate, but for some reason, it just doesn't want to slide down. Okay, I'll force the issue. There we go. There we go. Isn't he cute? Those are cute. Okay, and then we have this little bird who I over-inked. As you can see, he's almost brown. I may have to get, give him some color. I'm gonna glue him onto this little to and from on this little blue tag. So he's gonna be slid into something. Okay, I'm just going to put him on here. I'm trying to keep, 
cover up the to and from, but keep the little check at the bottom. Because I think it's cute. And I just, this is just stuff I took out of my kit, except for the birds on these Rolodex. He's cute. Cute, cute little dude. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Now, just so if you would want to, you can glue this on three sides and make this a pocket. I'm not going to need that for the amount of journaling I do, so I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. And if I decide I need additional writing space, I'll just write all over the place. I haven't had to do that yet. I've been pretty much... I mean, I have a lot of big spaces to fill, too, but I feel them. I managed to fill it all. And if I, you know, I have in the one I'm working on now, which is the one with the fairies. I, I don't have the name right in front of me. I think it's Grace. Um, I've been journaling in it for the month of March, and um, I feel like, you know, it gives me opportunity to to write a prayer or write some scripture of encouragement or even just a quote of encouragement for the crazy month we're having. We'll never forget the month of March and my husband's retirement time. <laughs> my husband has till Friday. I know you guys know this, I've told you. He's a little bit on the excited side. But on, on Thursday, he has to carry in all his paperwork all the things that were, was on his desk, all of his things, his computer. I said, I guess that means you're not working on Friday <laughs> on your actual day. He goes, well, he wanted me to have every... No, I think he's going to carry it on Friday. I think I talked him into it. I said, how are you going to work on Friday if you don't have, you know, everything? So he decided to do that. He goes, well, you're right. Whose wife is it, right? <laughs> Sometimes we are just smart. We're, I think it's more like common sense in my case, but because he's super smart. Okay. All right, that went down without any problem. So this is just my pretty side. Over here, we've got to decide now. I think I'm going to trim around this where it's, the Rolodex is sticking out because I don't like that. Okay, and a little bit here at the top, I didn't. Okay, so on this one, I want to think, I was thinking I wanted to put it down here, but I want to see, I could do them just like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do because if you do them wonky, it, it's harder to fit them on the page. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some glue around the sides. Try not to go crazy. A little bit there. Okay, let's see what happens. Put this at the bottom. I'm going more toward the outside because it's hard when your book starts getting kind of chunky. It's hard to uh, get things to glue down into your spine and lay nicely. You know, I, um, I always get my books are always so chunky when I get done. But I did a lot of decoupaging in this one. And I plan on doing a couple more decoupaging. Um, I have this um, I have this one that is a, a couple of napkins. That, well, I have the feathers I just showed you. But I also have another uh, napkin that has a bird on it I want to use. You know, I just got him. My husband went to Dollar Tree for something and... He knew, I, he's heard me talk about my bird book, and uh, which is Wings, if you're looking for it. I think she said there was, in a video the other day, there was a couple left. Now, I don't know if there is any now, but 
Good grief. It's like this stuff, when it gets crazy, it just starts coming out like nuts. Like it's crazy. You know, nutty. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this one about here. Try to pull it over a little bit. Let me make sure that's straight. It is. This is, I did this one next because I knew it'd be pretty simple compared to some of our other ones. Okay, now I just need to put, um, put this paper down or behind the paper. Here, go, 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 go. Cooperate, cooperate. Now it's acting stupid. This is when it gets to almost the bare bottom. So next time you'll see me with a different bottle. It probably, if I can get through this, I'm gonna leave it upside down while I do the back of the other one. So I don't get glue everywhere while I've got it coming out, you know. I leaned it over yesterday and it just happened to be leaning over the table. I look down and it's dripping on the floor. I'm like, oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Okay, so now this lining this up is going to be tricky. So just try to make sure you still have. Yeah, this one worked out. I will tell you this. I can tell that it's wanting to seep right there. Thought that was right there. No, it's right up here at the top. Just roll that right off. There we go. Okay, now we have this other one already. Um, it already has its its glue on. So let's go ahead and lay it down. Also. Come on, come on, get on there. It cooperated way better than I expected it to. So on these, let me cover this ink. I've got wide open over here. On this ink, uh, I'm gonna look and see if I have a color that we can write, write on this. I'm gonna see if I have a pink that will work. I'm looking. We could try it. I've or a blue even. I don't know how these will do. No, I don't have a blue. But we can try it and see, right? Let's do I know that that it will work cuz there's pink and there's red and blue and there's some pink in the bird. So, we can do little stitches here on the back. I don't want to pull out my sewing machine. Uh, my room is a mess right now. I've been moving in my new shelf and I'm trying to reorganize a bunch of stuff. I have the air conditioner on you guys and my hands are like ice. I just sitting here realizing, man, my hands are cold. We'll do this part first. And then we'll flip it over and see how it does on the other side. Might not be as easy on the black. But it is like kind of like a gel pen. So it's just sparkly, me metallic. No, this one's neon. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put it right here and see how it does. Oh, it's not going to show up. Well, it does, too. It's just not super dark. I think when it dries, it'll show up more. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. I mean, really, why not? Can you guys see it? Let me know in the comments if you were able to see it. I always try to work. The, when I'm just doing, like, stitching lines, I always try to uh, do opposite sides. And then go back and turn it. That way it's easier. I'm not turning it so much. 
keep your fingers in the middle because you do have to let this dry or heat set it. Um, I've used a lot of this with my journaling. I always uh, do that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go around this little little hole. Let's do it first. I know you're probably thinking I can't see that, but you you will be able to if you look inside the book. You can see it. It may not be showing up in the camera, but I can see it. Well, this time I did the opposite. Normally I do though, just do one side at a time so I don't have a chance of messing it up too much. Okay, there we go. So I think I want to put, um, like I said, this is, this is um, got to dry. So, I'm going to set these over here for a second. We may come back to this page. I think we will come back to this page. I know I had this little guy in with one of them. I don't know. Because I needed to use him. <laughs> okay, there he is. And uh, we're going to flip over to the other page. And then we'll come back to that one. Uh, oh, this one's cute. A lot of little boobs on the boobies on, on that part. But I still like it. Okay, now I'm trying to look for the next page. I had shoved some stuff like this one. I did not make any kind of plan, but I think I did on the back. So let's go back here first. And um, I'm gonna put a bookmark there. Okay, let me see if I have any big, oh, I'll use my book weight first and see. I was just looking at this back page I think what I'm going to do is just barely ink around the outside here. I'm going to do the back inside cover. And I'm just going to put this little envelope. But I'm going to glue the other half of this dually we used earlier on onto this little flap. So I'm going to actually put the glue on the flap. Okay, if it will cooperate. That way it doesn't, you know, it can still be opened if you want to open it. Come on. There it goes. It's not given completely up on us. Not yet. Got to be patient. Okay, now if I could get this on there, that is the trick. I'm going to try to do the top first so I get it straight as possible. I did trim off the edges of this doily so it would fit on there perfect. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to put it on the page. So, we're just doing, we're just gluing here, you know, on this little edge. Just got glue on the table. I felt it as I lifted it up. Man, didn't put that much on there. It's seeping through the doily is what the deal. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit, and then I'm going to roll that off. But that's how this is going to look right here. Oh, great. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Let's move this over. I, did, I had it on the very edge, so I'm not surprised. Okay, so see how good that looks with um, that page. I'm going to go ahead and put um, glue straight down to do the pockets if I can get this glue to cooperate. If not, we'll go over to the... Um, I'm going to make this a, a pocket. You can use the, uh, you can use the um, inside of the envelope or the back here to add 
tags or whatever. And all I did was fold this over so it's not got a whole lot of anything. I didn't stitch this. I folded the envelope over. It's wanting to go everywhere. And it probably will leak everywhere too. That's about how my day would go. So I looked and made sure this was going to fit perfect in here. I didn't, it was not an easy thing, so I didn't want to have to put you guys through it. So basically, I just folded the sides back like I do when I'm going to, uh, when I'm going to do the, sew the, sew the sides of a bag or something. That's what I usually do. I got to get this blob right down here where it decided to just leak out everywhere, of course. The one little spot where I didn't pull it all the way down. But it still works, it still rolls it right off. Okay, let's make sure the sides are okay. Yep, they're fine. I know that I have to do a little bit on, yeah. Got to be super careful getting it off. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to leave it and then powder it. Um, you guys ever powder yours? Let me show you. I'll just do it with you guys. It does get powder on things. This is full of powder. It's for embossing. Or you can use whatever you have in a bottle. I have both. But I keep this one on my desk. And I usually use the other one when I pull things out. Now it does kind of give it a white powdery look. Give it a second and you can either blow it off. There. So there we have it. See, and it's not sticky anymore. Not a bit of sticky going on there. Okay, so now, here is the tag that we're going to put in there. Basically, it was a square piece of cardstock I had left over. And I just did a decorative cut or punch on the corner. And this is going to go right in here. And I'm trying... Oh, I'm going to put this rose, which is one of Tracy Fox's uh, fussy cut roses. I'm going to put it right there. And I want to darken this white right there yeah so i'm going to glue this on first with my glitter glue because i just think life will be a whole lot easier if i do it that way i want to get the sides glued down well so let me get over here because that's where it's going to be noticeable if you don't have it down correctly right in here where I cut it to be even with the tag. Okay, I think we got it. We'll see, we're about to find out. I have it here at the top so you can see it when you put it in a pocket. I'll bring it down just a little bit more and see I cut it right there so everything else should fall into place when you put, doesn't that look pretty I don't know where she found this there's two of them in her fussy cut flowers um, that have this color rose and then the other one has a little bit more of a pink rose with it and so I my word for this month is kindness and so I want to put the word kind on there. Kind, kindness, either one makes me happy. And so I'm going to do that. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's 
go like this. Cover up all that white stuff. <laughs> I like the way that looks. I think we need to throw in a butterfly or something. What do you think? You guys think so? I don't have any in this book, but I have some over here in this pile on my sewing machine. Let me see if there's anything that would look good. I think this little bare spot right here bugs me. I see this one. I like this one. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back. I might put a little bit there because it's going to need to be flatter. Normally, I don't put butterflies down flat, just so you know. But I will in this book because I'm going to put it right here. And yeah. So he can... Oh, I like him. Okay, so now I've got to, I just realized that I was going to put this bird on the other side. Well, you see that this is one that I bought that isn't really quite, I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. I'm going to take it back out because this thing's wet. But yeah, see, isn't that pretty? Just a reminder to me at the end of my book that I my words kindness is this month and to work on that. So that's my plan. All right, so I'm gonna real quickly try to fussy cut this better, you guys. I normally don't do fussy cutting on the camera because I just don't think it's fair to have you sit here and watch me do it. But I wanna be able to finish this page. And my scissors have something on them that's keeping me from something sticky of course it's, it's fixing it fixing it where I can't fussy cut <laughs> it's making my scissors stick into everything I'm not even doing this the right way I should be going the other direction let's try that because it definitely I'm just going to cut this big white one in a little bit because yeah I don't like the, it's too much white. Sometimes I fussy cut so close that you cannot even see, see that the, you know, any white around it. And it looks normal when I'm done, but usually I, I don't try not to get too close because I don't want to distort the actual look of the bird or whatever it is I'm working on. And around, and around little things like this, you're wasting your time to try to fuss cut around those. Now, I, if it's a big space I cut in, but um, yeah, one of the most soothing, relaxing thing is fussy cutting. Have you guys been doing it? I don't know anyone that's not. It seems like everybody is into fussy cutting and collaging right now. I love it too. And see, they didn't even cut down, the people I bought it from didn't even cut down in here. And I normally wouldn't if I was gonna put it in a basket with other birds. But since I'm putting it right into the book, why not? You know, it'll look better if I do that. Okay, so we've got that side. This was already bent. So let's go over here and start from this. No, I already did that one. Okay, so start right here. I think I did. No, I didn't. I can tell it's lots further out than the other side. So let me do this real quick. I'll be fast. There was a time I wasn't fast. I drove myself crazy. But you learn after you do so much of it, you learn, don't you?
Of course, this one is the harder of the two I've, or the three I've done because they have all these big spaces. Okay, now we might be getting a little closer. Normally, I try to not cut off the paper as I go, but I don't like to spend all my time trying to keep the paper in one piece. They say that's a true fussy cutter, is to not have to clip your paper off as you go around. Basically, not lifting your scissors, only lifting your pitcher or your bird for the, in this case. Sometimes I'll just cut little things like this off altogether, but it depends on what I'm using it for. On this, in this case, I want it to look more realistic. Now I'm not going to go behind him and cut all that white. I'll just ink that portion because it would be here all day if I do that. I think I already did that one. I No, I didn't, because there's his little head at the top. Don't have his little head done. Let me do that real quick. And we will be done. Ta-da! Get all this out of our way. Okay, let's finish this page. This thing's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the glitter glue. And I'm going to put these birds up here. I think that's where I decided to put them. Let me look. Because they, believe it or not, they're wide, but their stem is coming down. You see like that? So that's how we're going to do them. <laughs> Maybe. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm trying not to do too much on these little areas because... I want it seeping out everywhere. I'm concentrating. Yeah, this is gonna leak right here if I don't smooth these out. Sometimes you can tell right away what's going to happen. I'm telling you, this little thing doesn't give you tiny, tiny little squeezes. It's because what it does is it kind of seeps out. Because when I'm done using it, usually I have to uh, wipe the tip off because it's got a bunch of glue on the tip. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're going to put this straight up and down. Maybe. Might have some glue flopping around somewhere. Let's get over as far as we can. Okay. This does not go there. This goes out here. Come on. I just got to let him down in order to make this work. That one's going to have to be trimmed off. It's like putting those big string, strings of gems down or the decorative gems that are the shape of hearts or swirlies or... It's not easy to do. So I'll probably have to go back and go under some of these little small areas and add a little bit of glue. But let me do this right here first. Trim these off because they have glue on the back and they're not going to cooperate. There's a little bit there and here. Okay, let me throw that away and wipe my my little scissors off here real fast and put the cap on oh great I dropped my my little needle 
You don't know how many times I dropped that needle. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's a piece of paper. <laughs> I'll find it in a minute. <laughs> what can I say? Story of my life. All right, so we've got this down here. I do want to add a little bit of brown to the to that portion that's so stark. There we go. And really, anything that's stark white. All right, so I want to leave this to journal right there on that page. And we're our time's up, guys. We got to stop what we're doing right now. So... I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, go to Lynette's store and go check her out on YouTube. You will fall in love with her and her projects. I mean, she has great projects on there and I've been watching her forever. How I got into junk journaling is I saw her do a little golden book at Christmas time and that's all it took. And then I was hooked. So you guys be good and stay safe. Think great thoughts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.